If you want to get good at sound design and game development, make an audio game. For my capstone project in college, I made a first person dungeon crawler RPG thing that was all audio based, there was no visuals, and I learned more in those few months about sound design than I did in the four years before that I spent making games. There's just so many strange, unique problems that you have to solve that you've never thought of before. Like, how do I tell the player what's in front of them, what's around them, which way they're facing? And doing all that through audio. Like, I had a compass that was just your heartbeat, and it would pan right and left depending on how east and west you're facing, and pitch up and down for north and south. And really what I learned through doing all this was that audio isn't just for atmosphere, it's for information too. And if you focus on that, you'll have good sound design in your game. So I would recommend when you're doing sound design in your game, just take every mechanical component and make sure there is a clear, distinct sound for it. So let's say an enemy is going to attack you and it telegraphs, it swings back, and then play a sound like a grunt or something. And then the player will see that and they'll know, okay, that sound is associated with that action. And then later, if they're not facing the direction of the enemy and they hear that sound, they know what's going on, they associate it with the visual. You've basically stacked two levels of information together to help the player out. You've made it, you've made it easier for them and you've improved the atmosphere. Make sure that you prioritize the more important sounds though. So if an enemy is telegraphing an attack, you want that to be louder than the sound of the player drinking a health potion. So next, after you've gotten all your mechanical sound effects laid out, you can start working on atmosphere, which is just another form of information. It's exposition. It tells the player what's around them. It's, it's not necessary information, but it's nice to have and it makes the game feel better. So just think about where am I? Where's the player? What's their surroundings like? Okay, I'm in a cave. What does the cave sound like? Maybe there's a breeze flowing through. Maybe there's bats or water dripping. Have I ever been in a cave before? What did that sound like? And then just pick a few sounds that kind of represent that and throw them in the game and make sure they don't overpower your mechanical sound effects because those are the important ones to gameplay. You don't want to ruin gameplay or get in the way of gameplay. So you have your atmosphere and then you can also have music around the same level and you you have the volume of the music relative to that based on what's going on. Just like if I'm exploring an area, maybe don't have the music overpower it, have the music quieter in the background. And then when there's something epic and incredible going on, raise the volume of the music. It's like, this is, you know, a dramatic cinematic moment here. So let's make the music you know, more louder so it's less realistic and more impressive. So I get my sound effects from two different sources usually. Uh, OpenGameArt.org is good. I'll usually just go up here and I click search on an empty search bar. And then I'll go over here and just uncheck everything except sound effect or music. And then I also like to uncheck all the licenses except for CC0 just because that's the easiest one to work with. You can use these other ones. Just make sure you read what you need to do attribution wise and if you can use it commercially, that kind of thing. Then just I search for whatever I'm looking for and listen through the different sounds until I find something that I like. Um, the other source I like to use is the YouTube audio library, which isn't just for YouTube. You can use it for any creative endeavor, commercially, whatever. Um, it's a really good source. They have a lot of good music on here and they have a lot of good sound effects. Just look through and listen until you find something you like. Now something you'll notice with a lot of sound effects online is they aren't plug and play. You have to you know, edit them yourself. If you're looking for a puddle splash sound effect, you're going to end up finding a two minute recording of some guy stepping in a puddle. So to edit that down, what I like to do is drag and drop the audio file in and then search for a relatively clear empty section, select it and then go up to effect, noise reduction, get noise profile, then select the whole thing. Just do control A and then noise reduction, OK. Let it run noise reduction on that. And then you can just select one of these chunks here, hit space to play, and see what it sounds like. And if it sounds good, then you just go to export, export selected audio, and you're good to go. Now, if you want to get really good, I strongly suggest making an audio game. There is a great uh, community of audio game makers and players, audiogames.net. The forum on there is super active. If you make a game and upload it on there, guarantee like 10 people will play it before the day, day is out and give you feedback too. 
It's really cool. Strongly recommend it. Just, yeah. I mean, if you want to get good at something, you have to do it. You have to do it a bunch and just do it and think about it, get feedback. And that's how you get good. You're not going to get good just watching videos on theory. You got to, you got to try.